The sound of squeaky shoes and a bouncing ball fill the gymnasium. While the game is underway, Nicole Thies and her team start to warm up. Nicole is used to twirling in front of an audience. My dad won me a plastic baton at a carnival, and so I like begged my mom forever to, to like, get me started in lessons. Nicole, with baton in hand, has twirled just about everywhere. I used to take her to some uh, events, you know, like she'd do grade school, or she'd do nursing homes and stuff when she was littler. And she's good at it. Nicole won Best in Minnesota in four different events. No matter how many medals she has on her wall, she still gets nervous. Two seconds before the music starts, my hands get so sweaty that I don't even know if I'll be able to hold on to my baton because I feel like it's going to fly out. Even the best twirlers drop batons. Dropping the baton, I compare to like missing a basket or like shooting the puck and the goalie blocking it because it happens. Like gravity obviously is bringing it down. Similar to dance, twirling is a sport that requires flexibility. I think I got my dancing skills from my dad. He's a little goofy on the floor. So I was at the Rolling Stones concert at the Metrodome and I was on the main floor and with a bunch of people and I was dancing and they actually wanted to throw me out because I was moving too much and I danced my way out of that one. For some people, the main event doesn't happen during the game. For people like Nicole, her time to shine happens when the game clock stops. With photographer Eric Nielsen-Bratley, I'm Jen Allison, reporting for Studio One.